What is happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new Adobe Audition CS6 tutorial. It is Friday, so that means it's the last video from this week. Don't worry, I'll be back on Monday for a new video, uh, Adobe Audition. And um, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to add uh, reverb into your recording. Because let's say you want to spice up your voice with some like really cool effects and stuff. So firstly, I'm, I need something to record with. Like, I need to I need to have some recording, so I'm just going to speak in that right now. So I'm just going to click on aim for record and just press record. Okay, so this is just a test. I'm just gonna talk something random into um, Adobe Audition just to show you guys how to add reverb into your clip. All right, that's our recording. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go under effect rack. You wanna click on this, click on this arrow, which brings up this drop down menu. You wanna click on reverb and then convolution reverb. So here is actually what it sounds like when you just pick this random one. Okay, so this is just a test. I'm just gonna talk something random into... Um... It sounds like you're in an elevator or something. So you have a lot of presets. Let's say I'm just gonna pick, I'm just gonna pick distance source. So you can see that that makes a lot of difference. So I'm going to preset, click on default, and you just want to click on this one. And there you can pick like empty living room. Okay, so this is just a test. I'm just going to talk something random into um, Adobe Audition just to show you guys how to add reverb into your clip. So that's how, you, that's how empty living room sounds. You can use endless tunnel if you want to. Okay. It's like in a church or something. So... Let's see what we have. So you, you can, this is like really easy. Just pick this one and boom, that's it. So let's say we want to take a large bathroom. Okay, so this is just a test. I'm just going to talk something random into um, Adobe Edition. So it sounds really good. So we have another one. Let's say, uh, let's pick medium sized cave. What? So that's reverb guys so as you can mess around with you know itself if you want to like precise it so let's say you want to have a classroom that sounds like this okay so this is just a test i'm just going to talk something right but you can just like room size you can bring that down as you can see okay so this is and you can just bring up the pre-delay can you, you can bring that up Okay, so this is just a test. I'm just going to talk something random. The gain, you can also bring that up. You can also bring the gain down. But this is just a test. I'm just going to talk something random. It and you can also just, you know, put the room size up if you want to. Okay, so... Or you can just pick another random reset that's inside car. Okay, so this is just a test. I'm just going to talk something random into... Um, Adobe Audition. So that's that's how similar this guys. If you want to see more of this Adobe Audition CS6 tutorials, uh, make sure to subscribe down below. And if you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. That's always appreciated. And, well, and as I always say, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys Monday for a new video. So until then, I'll see you guys very soon. I don't want to tell too much about it yet. About this topic, like how to drive a car easily in general. We're back with a new review. No, so we're back with a new series. Today we're going to review the GeForce 210 video card, so enjoy the rest of the video. So let's read some of the specs. I'm just going to tell you guys what the new schedule looks like and how it goes and all the stuff. So, okay. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.